I'm Mr. G here. I'm a middle school science teacher that likes to make science accessible and point out science in our daily life. Today I want to go back to my series on what Bungie got right and wrong in their world building for Destiny 2. Last time we took a look at Jupiter's moon Io. While the developers of Bungie did a fantastic job showing Io's complex geology, they didn't quite nail the rotational period of Io. If you want to hear more, check the link in the upper right corner. I'll also be at the end of this video. Today, again, I want to look at one of Saturn's moons, Titan, and compare real Titan with Destiny 2's Titan. A quick summary of NASA's data on Titan tells us that it is the solar system's second largest moon and it is larger than the planet Mercury. It is the only moon, however, with a substantial atmosphere. Atmospheric pressure is 60% greater than Earth because of this thick atmosphere, and it extends almost 10 times as far out into space because of Titan's smaller size and lower gravitational pull. The atmosphere itself is comprised mostly of nitrogen, like on Earth, but then the rest are the hydrocarbons, methane, ethane, and acetylene. Being so far away from the sun in Saturn's orbit, the cooler temperatures are close to the boiling or condensation point of methane, which is around negative 160 degrees Celsius or negative 250 degrees Fahrenheit. This allows methane to transition between gas and liquid on the surface of Titan like water does on Earth. So Titan has a methane cycle, complete with methane clouds, methane rain, and methane lakes and seas. But because of the lower gravity compared to Earth, this methane rain is made up of bigger drops and falls about 70% slower. A subsurface water ocean may also exist below Titan's crust, like many of the outer solar system moons, due to tidal friction of Saturn on Titan's core. So life as we know it could possibly exist there. But even cooler, life as we don't know it could also exist there. Microbes that utilize methane and other hydrocarbons as solvents in their chemistry could exist and be structurally different from the simple life we know now. So Bungie has limits in what they can make and show in Destiny 2. The game currently eats 100 gigs on my hard drive. This has resulted in Bungie announcing some locations that need to be stored in a digital vault to make room for other places. Therefore, the entirety of Titan is represented as just two big connected oil rig-like platforms that sit over Titan's largest methane sea, Kraken Mare. There is the Arcology, a city inside a biodome, nearby, but that doesn't really have a comparison to the real Titan. Even though the location is small, I do like hanging around Titan because of the rolling waves of methane rain, which isn't falling right now. There is nothing else like this in the game since the only other place with seas of any kind is Earth and they aren't featured in Destiny. Like we discussed with Io and Jupiter, Titan is tidally locked to Saturn. This means that the moon revolves and turns at the same speed it moves. This also means that the same side of Titan will always see Saturn. If we look at the tiny sun, it's moving across Titan's sky. A day on Titan should take one revolution around Saturn, or about 16 Earth days. Yet a day on Titan is about the same as the other planets in the solar system in this game. And it takes hours, not days. So then Titan must be orbiting around Saturn faster in Destiny 2 than in real life. The answer is no, look at the rings around Saturn. Use the hole in Saturn's rings as a landmark, which if you're familiar with Destiny 1 is where Oryx's dreadnought is parked. The hole does not move when it should be moving with the rest of the rings orbiting around Saturn. Therefore, if the rings appear static, then they and Titan are moving the same relative speed which is also impossible due to the stronger gravitational pull the rings feel from Saturn by being closer to the planet. The billions of pieces of the rings need to move faster than Titan to avoid collision into Saturn. It's why you see inner planets with shorter years than the next planet out in the solar system. It's why a figure skater spins faster when their arms are pulled in closer to their body. Momentum from the edge must be conserved, just like energy. So with breaking angular momentum in Saturn's system and making the rings the same slow revolution speed as Titan, let's add in Saturn moving impossibly fast on the sun in order to give an appearance of night and day. Clearly, Bungie developers wanted to highlight the hole in the rings as a callback Destiny 1 and kept everything looking static and therefore the same relative speed. But when you throw a day-night cycle into an environment that doesn't exist, like in nature, then you're showing that you accept some scientific principles and not others. I can't even give this a sci-fi out like with Io and the Traveler trying to terraform it for habitability. All the objects' motion in the Saturn system, especially the rings and Titan, revolving at the same speed, violates conservation of momentum at some point and has no benefit for establishing life. 
And with all these previous explosions I made in the moon, highly combustible methane should have turned Titan into a little fireball if it was terraformed with oxygen, just saying. In the end, like Io, the surface of Titan was recreated in Destiny 2 with excellent detail to the underlying science. But when you look up into the sky of both moons, the motion of other objects in the solar system reveal mistakes for, I'm assuming, stylistic choice. They are making a video game for entertainment after all. If you enjoyed this look at Titan and Destiny 2, a like's appreciated but never needed. I'll take a look at Mercury and then Mars before they're vaulted in November. Titan is going away and being vaulted, but we will be getting Jupiter's ice moon Europa to explore after that.